Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Sid Sixero, Dina Pugliese. A lot of people renting, but they also want to do a little something with their place. But obviously, you don't want to put too much money in it. So what do you do, specifically with kitchens? Uh, DIY YouTuber Alexandra Gator is here to help us out on a couple of fronts. Alexandra, good morning. Welcome to BT. Thank you. First things first. Okay, we're looking at things that aren't permanent. There's peel and stick backsplashes, you don't say? Yeah. It's one of my most favorite non uh, committal, you know, ways to spruce up your kitchen. So I have this tile in my kitchen. It's completely render friendly. Peel and stick. I'm going to show you how to put it on the wall. Okay. Um, there's like actual grout lines as well that makes it look really real. So I just peeled off the back. Literally just stick it on your wall, smooth it down, and then there's guidelines here that says overlap the next tile. So you place the next tile um, beside it, and suddenly you have this like amazing ceramic tile, except it's not ceramic, it's peel and stick. Super easy and durable, but you do have to measure first, right? Do you? have to measure first. Um, it can get a little pricey, so you want to make sure you're not overbuying. Okay. Next, styling open shelves. It can make such a big impact. It really, really can, and I'm so excited for you guys to style some shelves, but styling shelves in a kitchen is not only functional, but it also makes it look really beautiful. So what I love to do is put like pasta and dried goods in jars, put them on display. Suddenly you have so much more storage in your kitchen. Um, and the key to styling an open shelf is layers. That's like the key word. So oh. you want to stack things upwards, um, you want to place like that cheese board that you can see is behind um, my coffee maker. So yeah, it's all about layers and um, just having fun with it and creating a dynamic shelf. So clever. Apparently you have a challenge for Sid and myself. I do. Uh -oh. So I actually sent some styling things from my own kitchen yeah, nice. and I'm telling you guys to style your own shelves. You have 30 seconds oh. and I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to decide the winner at the end. <laughs> are you ready? All right, so we're going to have 30 seconds because I see some. Now, do, are we limited to everything here, or can we grab a random thing from the studio? Totally. Grab we random things. Long. Remember, oh. layers. All right. All right. You want layers. You want color. Okay. Go. Okay. All right, Alexander, count, on the count us down from three to one. Go ahead. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, where is he going? Are you stealing my idea of getting stuff at the back, Sid? Oh wow, after you called me out? Really? Really? Whatever, just designing shelves. Wow, Sid, you just bit my idea. Look at this. You just stole it. Like, honestly. Bowl on, bowl on this honestly? side. Look at this. I'm going to put my picture in the bowl. Here. Oh wow, that's just fancy now. Look at that. Oh, three. Oh. Look at that. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So Sid put a photo of himself and his cat, Chloe, on top of yeah. two bowls. Then yeah. he used your pasta method and he's like, here's the pasta. And he left the bottom two bare. Yeah. I mean, you know what, you guys, g great attempts. Um, I have to give this one, though. you know, you, <laughs> you took the layering thing to a whole new level. Okay. Alexandra, so I decided I enjoyed your little pineapple moment. So I'm like, little pineapple okay. moment. Then I grab the fresh flowers, little pop of color to juxtapose yeah. the black backdrop. And boom, with a modern, like, uh, Art Deco retro candle, staggered. Boom, boom, boom. You actually did something really great and important is you left breathing room between the pieces, which is key. So I'm going to give you that one. I didn't suffocate right. the bowl with the no, photos. But let me, hold on. Dina got to explain with big words. So let me give this a go here. I have my, I have my rice jar. Yeah. which is perpendicular to my, <laughs> my flaxseed jar. I have a picture of myself Those to let people know, flaxseeds. you know what, this is Sid's shelf, deal with it. Those are lentils. On a bowl, which is a bowl, <laughs> and then a minor bowl, so you have a family of bowls <laughs> with my picture, boom, rice, how did I do? I mean, you, you did okay. I liked the picture in the bowl. I see where you were going with that. Um, but if you really were styling your own kitchen shelf, having two bowls beside each other is great. There's different heights there. Um, great attempt. Okay. Great attempt. That's a nice way to destroy what I just did. I think she's saying there's no winners here today, but keep trying. And we appreciate it. Very good. Thank Very you good. so much, Alexandra. You win this round. Okay, where do we find more information? You can find me on YouTube at Alexandra Gator. Awesome.
See you later, Alexandra Gator. <laughs> Sorry. I'm in grade two forever. Coming up next, how this entrepreneur survived multiple, are you okay? Economic fallouts. Plus, just for you, we're making shrimp curry. Nice.